Hey guys, Jimmy of Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at a little asset in the Unity Asset Store called Low Poly Battle Arena slash Tower Defense Forest Pack. Now, this one kind of caught my eye a little bit more than a lot of others, simply because I kind of just in was instantly drawn to how this looked. Graphically, it looks really, really nice, and I can see why people would use this for their own game. Now, it does say mobile up there, but that doesn't necessarily mean you have to use it for mobile. So it has a scene in the pack. I always love those. And at first glance, it looks quite nice, actually. I mean, for low poly, it is really, really nice. And as you guys know, if you follow me, I always apply a little bit of post-processing just to kind of see what things look like. Um, so the quality overall, without post-processing, is still very nice. And th this would do just fine for if you're doing some kind of like tower defense game within uh, a mobile environment. Um, with a bit of post-processing, obviously the quality bumps up uh, a little bit. It looks quite nice. But don't forget, that kind of draws back a little bit on mobile devices. So on this premise now... Let's talk about quantity in this package. There is a lot to take in right now because it's not just about the area itself. Look at the coins, look at the treasure chests, look at the flames, look at the castles, the trees, everything. Just because it's labeled as a uh, like a battle arena tower defense kind of thing doesn't mean to say you have to use it for that. You could be doing, for example, a 3D platformer game. Think of something like Super Mario. Use these coins. Them coins might be absolutely perfect for you. I love the little water effect as well. I think that works really, really nicely. It's it's pretty awesome. The crates, the barrels. I just think it looks really, really nice. The quantity in it matches its quality, and that is a good thing. That is a good thing for this asset package. The folds are all laid out nice and neatly, as we can see. We can just go through each everything. We've got materials all the individual models if we need to. So we've got two pieces of the chest that we can use, the uh, wheels, we've got the crates, got everything we need. And then obviously we've got the prefabs, trees, whatever else. Uh, and there's the scene. A couple of little scripts, but this now falls under extras because initially the asset package presents itself as just uh, a 3D model as it works. It is in that uh, section of the asset store, 3D modeling. So the fact that it's got these extras in there, the scripts, I think that's really good. So it's nice, always nice to see little bits of extras here, there, and everywhere. So how customizable is this asset package? Well, if we take a look at it, each one of these is just basically a cube. And I guess you could change each of these yourself. You could make it quite metallic, change the smoothness, uh, change to albedo, make it look a little bit more Minecrafty, I guess. It's up to you how far you want to go with a customizable uh, options in this like i said you, you don't have to stick with what it says you could always just take that color palette as it were Control press d to create a normal map it's not going to make too much of a difference you could logically apply your own normal map in a much better situation but it's the fact of being able to actually do it in the first place and do that and you can see just how much of an impact it has even though this normal map won't strictly do anything to the texture itself because everything is flat. But that's just another way of customizing how it looks. And now it looks different from what it did previous. So the usefulness of this is quite high. This could be used in a lot of different situations. Like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be the type of game it is representing here. You could just only want this for the chest or just the flames or smoke or something at all. There's lots of stuff in here for various different types of games, and that is why I like this. Size-wise, it's very small. It is just 1.3 megabytes. That is absolutely fantastic. For the amount of content you get in here, that size, you really can't argue with that. And the fact it's free as well. There's just... It's a fantastic asset for pretty much anything. No matter what type of game you're making, especially if it's a low-poly game, you're going to find something in this asset package which is useful to you to some degree. There's just so much to work with here, and again, that is why I like this. I mean, look at this here. We've got the cannonball here. We've got a little uh, catapult. So if we take a look at the catapult itself, obviously the um, whole prefab of it is customizable, so we can um, play around with the rotation and get it to fire. So you could easily code that to fire 
really, really easy. We take a look at this castle, the doors we've got here, you could kind of break them off, I guess. Uh, you know, boom, gone. So it's, it's, it's so great how much you can do with this asset package. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't recommend them. If you are new to making a tower defense game, not sure what to do, get this package. Absolutely get this package, even if it's just to build a prototype of your game. Get this package. I recommend you get it because you can play around with things in here, understand how they work, build your own tower defense game from there. Uh, even if you're not being a tower defense game, take a look anyway, because there's probably something that you could find useful one way or another. Like I said, especially if you're creating something low poly. So, guys, have you used this asset? You let me know your thoughts if you have in the comments below. Tell me what you think of it. And if you've got an asset on the asset store, uh, whether it's free, paid, whatever, let me know in the comments as well. I'd like to take a look because... I like reviewing these kind of things because you never know what you can find. Don't forget, click subscribe, click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I have on video game development in Unity on my channel. And guys, thank you very much for watching.